Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to Azure Unblogged and today we're going to talk about uh, Azure Backup Center and how it can help you monitor and operate your environment for backup and restores. With us we have Aruna Somandra, Principal PM for the Azure Backup Team and uh, we're going to talk about this right now. Hey Aruna, good morning. Hey, how are you? I'm, I'm good. doing Welcome good. Back. Thank you. So we've had a few of those videos uh, already uh, on the overview of Azure Backup Center, uh, how to uh, report on an optimizer environment. What about the day-to-day -day operations and and monitoring of that? Like, what what are what can we drill, drill down on for those? Great. Let's talk about that today. So one of the things that is core for people who are responsible for backup management is their day-to-day -day monitoring in terms of tracking if there are any failed jobs. Uh, you know, you also want to see which jobs have passed. Uh, you might get a service request to go restore a particular workload. And so far, what has happened is doing this has been harder if it is a large distributed estate. Uh, you need to know exactly which vault you need to go into and backup and restore from. With Azure Backup Center, this becomes super easy to do, again, because it's one single place to go to. So let me show you through the portal how it is easy to do that. Okay. So here again, we have our overview page. Uh, you see this quick glance of jobs that gives you information about uh, some of the key things that you want on a daily basis. It's not showing you reporting information. It's not showing you long, long standing information. It's just showing you critical information of the last 24 hours from a job's perspective. Yeah. You know, uh, in this case, I have two completed. For example, maybe you have very few restores per day, but suddenly there are so many restores that are happening. You want to understand why that is happening. So all of that information is up there for you across all of the subscriptions that you are owning. Um, and so you can then take corrective actions or analysis uh, based on that information. Uh, so we looked at how jobs uh, gives you a quick glance view. Another core aspect of daily operations that uh, comes up if you're doing backup management is service requests for restore. So with Backup Center, right here at the top level, you have a button for restore. You click that button. You pick the workload that you got the restore for. Maybe someone asked you to restore a virtual machine. Maybe someone asked you to restore a blob. Whichever request you got, you select that workload. You select the backup instance. You type in the name of the backup instance that you got a service request for. You select that, and that's it. You proceed, and it takes you through the entire restore process again. Super easy uh, to do restore right here from Backup Center. OK. so. Uh... And, and this is not available. This is not for like users to restore their own files. This is for the administrators to uh, act on service requests to do restores uh, across their entire organization. Yes. Yeah, so, so let me put it this way, right? Backup Center allows you to have a focus on backup for everything that you have access for. So, in your organization, if the governance rules have been set up such that you are responsible for also doing backup for your um, virtual machine, you can actually see it not just in backup center, but also in your VM blade through the backup experience. And you can do a self-service restore from there as well. Um, backup center is typically more useful if you are a backup admin who has got a larger uh, set of data sources that they're managing. So this becomes easy for one single VM to go and search. Uh, but if you were a user who just had your VM, you knew exactly which one it was, you actually can just go to the VM experience itself. You'll see backup right there, and then you click restore, and you're able to restore it from there. Yeah, because this, as you as I see on the screen, like you've got multiple subscriptions. So if you're a backup administrator, uh, you can operate it across all subscriptions, all resource groups, and you don't have to hunt down that one VM where you need it. It's going to be show. It's going to be showed right there in the interface for you. Absolutely, absolutely. Okay. 
all uh, your subscriptions all your resource groups all your locations even right uh, so if you're a backup admin huge estate super easy to do it from one single place that's perfect this was great um one quick question though uh, i know uh, some of our audience may have questions as to uh, how do i like build an arm template with backup so, so that it already enrolled in backup a, a policy how do i modify a policy is there a, a location for me to get uh, some of that information perfect uh, one of the capabilities that we've added in backup center is this view for community this is our community hub okay. which is aimed at helping customers who are using automation arm templates you know and things like that uh, within their organization. So right here, you will see a link to the ARM templates quick start. You will see links to the Azure policy community. You also have links to PowerShell samples that have been written that help you use our PowerShell to do further automation. Yep. And uh, you also have, maybe you're using Oracle databases and you want to get database consistent uh, snapshots. Uh, now with uh, Azure Backup, you actually have these scripts that are supported by Microsoft that you can use for taking VM backups for these databases and still have them be database consistent. So you have links to those scripts as well right here from the community page. That's that's wonderful, actually. Uh, I didn't know about that uh, that capabilities, but I'll definitely take, uh, take advantage of it. I, I love going through uh, samples and seeing how I can uh, use that and 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 modify them for my own uh, benefits in my own environment. So that's that's fantastic. Thank you for that. Um, so now we uh, are at the end of our video. Uh, thank you so much for spending the time with us again. We've covered uh, we've covered monitoring operation, uh, community, uh, getting started. So thank you again, uh, Aruna. My pleasure. Thank you so much. And we'll see you on the next episode of Azure Unblogged.